guys, welcome back to PC Outdoors, and I'm going to show you how to make my famous carp recipe. It's not famous, but it's a carp recipe. Um, you take some chicken feed pellets and some jello. It can be any flavor you want. I prefer ch cherry or strawberry. And you put the pellets in. And then you put the cherry jello in. And then you put water in just up to where, just a little over where the pellets end. And just let it soak until it looks like this. You need to mush it around a little bit before it gets there. But it'll look kind of like mush. Anyways. You take syrup. Maple syrup. Let me rinse off my hands. For one like this, I like just enough where it covers the top. It's good. You really don't need too much. Sometimes I count to five. But it really doesn't matter. If you want, you can add peanut butter. That's what I'm going to do. Just give it a little bit. Um, Just about a big spoonful. Whenever you're using peanut butter, just grab it with your hands, stick it in, and just push it off. Wash off your hands. Really, if you want, you can just put the peanut butter, flour, and maple syrup. That does work. But my recipe catches big ones. Um, so next, you're going to need flour. So now you're going to mix it around. This stuff works good. Ruby, you don't need none of this. This is for carp. Carp and channel cats. Not for dogs. And then after this, I might make some hot dog and jello. I might go to the lake tomorrow. Well, I am going to the lake tomorrow. So, I was trying to say I might record it. Ugh, Ruby! Stop, you don't need to. While I'm mixing, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, like, share if you want.
By the time you're done, you should be able to make a tennis sized ball and be able to toss it up and keep it shaped. See, it's doing that. And then you just need to mix. The more you mix, the better it gets. Ruby, you're not getting any of it. Stop it. Stop licking my feet. Weirdo. Now I'm just gonna scoop the flour that I spilt. And just plop. Plop. Back up and stop licking my feet, you weirdo. Anyways, I'm just going to mix and mix and mix some more. You can use any container, five gallon bucket, a bag, bag works pretty good. A little tiny bucket, anything at all. By the time you're finished, hold on, get stuff that's in between my fingers. Uh, should be able to roll you a ball, and it looks like that. Now that'll catch every type of carp out there. Buffalo carp, grass carp, common carp. I've only ever caught one mirror carp, and it was super weird and tiny. I don't like it. I don't like mirror carp. They look really weird. It should be about the consistency of Play-Doh. And what you do is you take a size 6 treble hook and just... I do that, flatten it out, stick my treble hook right there. You don't want to use this much, you need to use about... That much. You put your treble hook there, pack it up make an egg basically now that we're done with that oh. now that we're done with that I think I'm gonna make some jello hot dogs now this stuff it works Scared me. Just my dad watching. He's watching. Anywho, um, yeah. What was that? take about four or five of these. One weenie, two. I don't think this is gonna work. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me get one of these vessels. There we go. Gotta get a Ziploc. I'm gonna. 
put four hot dogs. Um, just want to shout out to some of my friends, uh, Blakely's Trapping Supplies, you're probably watching this, hello, um, Boxy Outdoors, Mark J. Larson Outdoors, um, Deer Slayer, LTO, and everyone else. If you want to be mentioned in the next video, comment and I'll do it. I'll try to do it. Anyways, let me move y'all over here. Never used this before. Everyone's telling me to. So I'll listen. And I'm not use that. Anyways, let's get all this in here. I'm supposed to add a little garlic powder too, so I might just put some in. Inhaled <coughs> just inhaled jello. I don't think that's good. Cool. For me, at least. No. no. This might be my own choice. Okay. Hate the smell of it. I'm gonna put one more hot dog in there because that looks that looks like it's too much seasoning for one little dill. And I might as well add some more. Is this considered ASMR? Is this like... Is this like... Is this a cat fisherman's ASMR? Does that help you fall asleep?
Does that look about right? Looks very nasty. I'm not a big fan of nasty. Smells like vinegar. Oops. Does smell like vinegar. Um, if this works, I'm definitely gonna use it again because I only use stuff that works. It's a wise tale. You only use stuff that works, and if you don't, then you won't catch them because it doesn't work. Wise words from a wise man. My grandpa. Now this is going to be able to sit overnight. I don't know if that's good or not, but anyways. There's that. Right there. Now this bait, I love it. You can use any type of uh, feed pellets if you want. If you don't have chicken feed pellets, you can use hog feed pellets. If you don't have hog feed pellets, you can use all-purpose feed pellets. If you don't have all-purpose feed pellets, you can use cow feed pellets. You can use hog feed pellets, cow feed pellets, goat feed pellets. You can even use fish food. Any, You can even use dog food for the base. It all works. And if you don't want to use uh, Jello. And then you can just use strawberry soda pop or cherry soda pop or Dr. Pepper or just water. But, oh, crap, no. You can't eat that, Ruby. But I like flavor. And it adds a little bit of color, not much, but a little bit. Now that, now this stuff, it'll catch buffalo carp, grass carp, and common carp. Uh, it will catch channel catfish, baby blue catfish, and if you put it on a small enough hook, it'll catch perch. It'll catch basically any non-predatory fish. It's really good. And you don't need all the fancy stuff. You don't need hair rig, you don't need, uh, you don't need nothing besides what I showed you. And if you want to strictly go after channel cats, you can have couple dashes of garlic um, and if you want to go after more carp than anything common carp then just put uh, corn in there you'll still catch everything else but common carp seem to like corn more than everything else but the thing about you adding corn makes it where you'll catch turtles so don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video. I'll see y'all next time.